Hello everyone, welcome to this demo that will be about uh, recommendations based on Python packages already shipped in pre-built container images. Uh, if you are following uh, ThoughtStation uh, YouTube channel, you might already seen uh, this demo. Uh, this, this is an addition to, uh, already to the already published demo and we will more focus on reusing dependencies uh, that are shipped inside container images. So uh, if you haven't seen uh, the previous demo, uh, please take a look because I will continue uh, and I will base uh, this presentation on uh, the demo uh, that I uh, discussed. Uh, so basically, uh, in the demo, uh, we showed how you can write prescriptions and how you can state uh, dependencies on uh, Python packages that are already present in container images. So uh, the demo was more focused on writing YAML configuration file for Resolver. These YAML configuration files are uh, called prescriptions. But in this demo, uh, we will focus on reusing dependencies that are already shipped in the container image, so in pre-built container image. So uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, please uh, have a look at it. Okay, so in the previous uh, demo, we talked about a predictable stack. Uh, where uh, there is created a TensorFlow container image and a user wants to install TensorBoard. Uh, now uh, let's focus on reusing dependencies that are already uh, shipped in container images. And let's say that TensorFlow that is shipped inside pre-built container image uh, shares some dependencies with uh, TensorBoard. Uh, if that's the case, uh, we do not want to reinstall uh, uh, versions of uh, packages that are already shipped in a container image because we know that this is a predictable step stack and we know uh, that uh, these dependencies uh, work well work well together and by re uh, by uh, reinstalling for example numpy that is already shipped in a, a tensorball container image we can eventually break uh, the functionality of the base image so uh, that's uh, why resolver will uh, in this case take into account uh, python packages that are already shipped in container images and uh, if they are uh, required in uh, packages that are installed uh, by users, uh, additional packages that are installed by users, uh, Resolver will consider versions that are already uh, shipped in container images. Okay, so uh, to uh, give some visualization, we have a container image, the predictable stack, uh, that is shipped, for example, with a tensor board. Uh, that means uh, we have Python packages inside that container image uh, to deliver uh, required functionality. So we have a container image, we have uh, Python packages such as TensorFlow, uh, then we have uh, uh, dependencies of TensorFlow such as NumPy and so on. Now a user wants to install a new package. That means uh, possibly that uh, there are installed more uh, packages and some uh, packages can be reused from the container image. So uh, here we have uh, a requirement to install additional packages. Here you can see uh, that there is uh, this tail and uh, if Python packages share are shared with Python packages that are already shipped in container image. We basically want to uh, reuse them so the stack fits into the predictable uh, container image. So uh, you see this is the shared part of uh, the stack. If we would reinstall packages that are already uh, shipped in the container image, uh, we might eventually uh, end up uh, with a broken uh, environment uh, because that environment was not tested and there was a reason to package uh, certain package versions inside a container image. Okay, so now let's switch to the terminal. Here I will show a very uh, basic example. So uh, we have um, 
uh, requirements uh, that are basically two packages, uh, six and arc pars. And uh, what we will do, we will ask resolver to resolve packages specifically for this base image. Uh, this base image already has a pre-installed six package. So that means uh, uh, resolver will inject six into uh, the resolved software stack. It will reuse uh, already existing six uh, present uh, in the base container image. And if six would have uh, any dependencies, these dependencies would, would be also uh, reused from the base container image. So uh, let's call the recommender uh, the, the recommender system. Uh, and uh, in the resolution log, uh, you will see uh, removing any possible versions of six as, uh, as the given package is already present in the base image in the specific version. So that means that the resolver detected that uh, 6 is present in the container image and is using a version that is already shipped uh, in the container image. Okay, so uh, if you are interested in this approach, uh, feel uh, free to visit also justification that is produced in the resolver log. So uh, here you can see documentation and you can also uh, find uh, links to the implementation if you are interested in sources. And uh, feel free to also uh, check the previous uh, YouTube video that uh, discusses about prescriptions and how to declare uh, uh, requirements on certain Python uh, packages or Python uh, package versions being present in a uh, runtime environment uh, using uh, YAML files. So this way I would like to thank you and see you next time.